千里之行，始于足下。A journey of a thousand miles begins beneath the feet. We now gather in the Tao to travel the journey together. Welcome to Tao Talks with Eric Lin, where we take a deep dive into the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu. I would like to extend a warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining us. I would like to invite you to center your thoughts and direct your attention to this moment in time, to the here and now, to be fully present and mindfully aware, as we all ready ourselves for this sacred process in the Tao. With one another, we may start this chapter with the idea of turning attention inward to go into meditation, to observe and manage your inner self, letting everything settle. The concepts of the internal and the external are intertwined and connected. Living and meditating are but two sides of the same coin. So I want to present a slide to depict this notion. Embracing oneness. Let's start with meditation. Those who have practiced meditation before. Will readily be able to identify with this image. Meditation is about oneness of the self, mind and spirit. Your mind is what you can focus. Your spirit follows. When I say mind, what I mean is that you assume this meditative pose and you quiet your mind. There are so many stray thoughts buzzing around, so many emotions, which can be positive or negative. So you can see all of those being distracting factors from outside of the true self, outside of the core of your being. When I say the core of your being, I'm talking about something that's beyond the mind, beyond emotions. At the very core, before the superficial layer of feelings and emotions are imposed on top of it. So there are all kinds of things that occur to the mind as you try to quiet them down. Random ideas, distractions that can pull you away from composure. Thinking about the future. Maybe thinking about what's to come optimistically. That is, think about your hopes, or pessimistically, potential dangers, your fears. These all besiege the mind. What can we do about that? Well, Lao Tzu says, hold on to your soul and embrace oneness. Use that oneness to bring everything in line. Let the thoughts pass right through. Make no attempt to hold on to them. File away random ideas that occur to you. File away your hopes and fears. You can always come back to them later on. Everything should start to settle. So that is the. Meditative side of oneness. I mentioned that the other side of the same coin is cultivation in the context of living life. So this is the complementary graphic for that. Whereas the meditation is a passive activity, living one's life, cultivating the Tao in life, is dynamic and active. 
there again, you're going to have all kinds of factors that are trying to besiege your mind and distract you. So the oneness of the self, mind and spirit, on the left-hand side, here is oneness of the Tao, which I want to remind everyone, means the path or the way. It's all about holding on to the principles and teachings. So the key insight here is that mindfulness is not just for meditation. It's just as important for living everyday life, walking the journey of your life. Just as there are distracting thoughts in your mind, there's definitely no shortage of distractions from the people around you. Sometimes you feel like everyone wants something. Family members, friends, coworkers, and so on. They all make their demands on your time and energy. Sometimes what they want can be contradictory or at odds with one another. Perhaps the boss wants more results from you, but then your significant other wants more attention from you and you only have a certain amount of time in a day. What to do? Again, Lao Tzu says, hold on to your true self, embrace oneness, use the oneness of the Tao, apply the teachings, use that as a way to keep you centered on the principles that you adhere, for every demand that people make, there is a way to handle it easily and smoothly by using the Tao. For every potential conflict, there is a way to diffuse the situation and work out a compromise and toward harmony. For every obstacle that shows up, every road bump, there is a way to be like water, flow over it, under it, or around it. So that is oneness applying to the path or the journey of life. So let's summarize what we have talked about. Today in chapter 10, it is all about turning your focus inward. So the three parts that we have discussed, number one, hold the soul, embrace the oneness. As you heard, the oneness, the unity, is synonymous with the Tao. So to embrace oneness is to embrace the Tao, which also implies the principles of the Tao, staying on the path. And we want to be consistent in doing so. And that's the part that says, hey, don't stray away. This is what leads to harmony, the consistency of the practice. Number two, concentrate your energy and relax. This is all about the flow of the internal energy, the breath, controlling the breath, utilizing, leveraging the breath to help you to become as soft and supple, as relaxed as an infant. And as we will see next time, this has implications, not just in meditation, but also Tao cultivation, as well as living one's life. But moving on for now, number three is cleanse the worldly view. This means turning away from the colorful distractions of the material world. This is what will take us back to the purity of our original nature. So there's uh, a lot more to talk about. In the six questions, we have completed the three that are internally, inwardly directed. We still must talk about the other three questions to form the whole set. Our meeting has come to an end, but the journey continues on. Until next time, may the Tao fill you 
with peace and happiness.